Calling all air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, come on to your reading for April monthly collective tarot reading. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. All right. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We are going to get your reading for the month of April and being mindful that April 8th is the um, April 7th or 8th, depending on what where you are in the world, is the solar eclipse. And during the solar eclipse, that is a time for releasing people, places, or things that are holding you back from growing and evolving. Okay, air signs. Let's get into it. We have, I pulled three oracle cards. And we will get tarot for understanding and clarification. The first one, empty well, time to replenish. The next one, wisdom, learning, joy, art, music. And the final oracle card, eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. All right. Let's get some tarot out here to get some understanding of what spirit needs you to know air signs again gemini libra aquarius right i'm gonna pull these out but i'm not gonna turn these yet all right so empty well time to replenish air signs okay time to replenish it's time to take stock of what's going on in your life and refill your cup rejuvenate yourself Take time to rest. Um, and it's very interesting to see this imagery on this card. This is from the Shaman's Dream Oracle. And it looks like, you know, we have a solar eclipse here. Uh, somewhat, almost, right? So, empty your well. Take time to get rid of, release those people, places, and things that do not serve you. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And with this, we have the Chariot, Two of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Okay? It's when it's with this emptying of the well. Tap into your personal power. Tap into your willpower. Gain some control over what serves you well. Do more of that. And what does not serve you well. Air signs, get rid of it. It has to go. You control the situation, right? You get to decide. You get to analyze. You get to determine what is working for you and what doesn't. And rely on your inner wisdom to help you sort out this list of people, places, and things, right? And you will have to go into solitude during that time of replenishment. You need to rest. You need to get still. Uh, it's a time to take care of yourself from the inside out. So whether that's prayer, meditation, yoga, um, exercise, whatever rejuvenates you, but also allows you to get quiet at times, do more of that because you are in control of, in, in control. Of what happens next all right and then you have the two of swords this is a choice to make you decide between positive or negative what do you want more of in your life it's always in your control it's always your choice you are not the victim of what is happening to you I want you to understand that air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius Things are happening for you and, and the things that feel negative, that feel icky, those are the lessons to be learned. So get the lessons so you don't have to repeat it. But you have a choice to make here. Okay. And then with this is also a seven of cups. Again, a choice, a decision. Look at what is closest to you. The closest thing things to you that bring you joy, the closest people and places that bring you joy, that is what you choose. That is what you choose more of. That is what you do more of, air signs. Okay, let's get some. Mm, let's go with the Illuminati. Uh, yeah. Four of Swords. Huh? Talked about resting. Queen of Cups and the 
the page of swords so the four of swords is clarifying the chariot here okay i just spoke to you about resting time to replenish you can only replenish when you slow down take time to rest take a beat take a breath rejuvenate replenish relax right and you are in control of when you get to take that time off for yourself right okay so this is just clear spirit is pointing to that right and then we have next the two of swords is being clarified by the queen of cups that decision you have to make that uh, what to keep and what to get rid of, it is an emotional decision because it is dependent upon how you feel emotionally. How do these people, places, and things make you feel emotionally? Do they make you sad? Do they make you angry, anxious, or, or fearful? Or do they bring you joy? It's like, oh my gosh, I love being here. I don't want to leave this person's presence. They bring me so much happiness and laughter. So much positive advice. This is an emotional decision to make. And you need to rely on your heart chakra, right? And also on your inner wisdom, okay? It's a time of nurturing and watering and growing what serves you well all right air signs gemini libra and aquarius then we also have the seven of cups being <coughs> clarified by the um page of swords in this deck this illuminati deck it's princess of swords but it is the traditional page of swords is clarifying this seven of cups that choice the communication between yourself, your conscious self, and your unconscious self, your conscious mind, and your spiritual mind. There's a communication that has to happen that helps you make these decisions. And the Page of Swords is showing up to let you know, communicate with your higher self, communicate with your spiritual team, your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides to help you formulate a plan and make decisions that are crucial to the benefit of your life, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all of you air signs, right? You can get a new perspective on what you deserve. Change the way you believe things should be going in your life and create the kind of thinking that says, absolutely, I should be doing this. I deserve this. I am worthy of these types of things coming into my life. We're moving on to the next Oracle card. Wisdom, learning, joy, art, and music. This is, this is beautiful. So what I'm feeling... You have these, if you could see this, there are swans here and they're creating the shape of a heart. This is absolutely a heart space type of thing. It's just, everything is coming from the heart for you, air signs. With the wisdom that you gain from taking time to replenish and rest, right? That wisdom you gain, it is going to, it is going to light you up. It is going to empower you, right? You will be enlightened by the things you never knew about yourself because you're taking the time to get to know yourself during the time of rest and rejuvenation, okay? Air signs, you will become wise to what your soul already knows. This information will be released to you. You will have a chance to just learn more about yourself. You will become more joyful in an understanding of self, right? Let's see what we have. We have the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Absolutely. This King of Cups coming up here to clarify this wisdom card. It's showing and, and I'm feeling that with this re relaxation and rejuvenation, your emotions absolutely come into balance you have an emotional control that is heightened you don't swing too far one way or the other you are in control of your emotions gemini libra aquarius rather than your emotions controlling you you have the authority over your emotions and you don't let your emotions drag you right that's what I'm feeling with this King of Cups. And then the Knight of Cups is absolutely saying you deserve the desires of your heart. You deserve to attract 
things that bring you pleasure, things that fill you with love, even attracting a love interest is what I'm feeling with this Knight of Cups. And yet you cannot do that just yet, air signs, because you are not completely wise or even halfway wise to who you are and what you're meant to be doing. So you have to learn yourself, right? Lastly, for this one, we have the Knight of Pentacles. There is work to be done here. This is not an easy process to go through, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, not saying it's easy. Nothing in life worth having is easy. We would have everything we want and be living in more chaos than we are, if you understand me. So you are ha you have to find a determination. You you must get tap into your personal power to get through this journey to change things about yourself to release the things that no longer serve you. It will be difficult because we are comfortable, but there is no growth in comfort. Right? We do not grow. We do not expand when we're comfortable. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me clarify. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so air signs. You are... Okay, what am I feeling with this? This is a little strange. So the King of Cups, King of Cups is being clarified by the Four of Pentacles. That emotional control, that emotional balance with the King of Cups, it will also help you come into balance in your in your material world. Right now, what I'm feeling is that because you are emotionally off kilter, your material world is off kilter. It's not where you want it to be, air signs. You you are at a place to start rebuilding or building up your material world, such as your career or a business of your own, your home, or your finances, right? But with the King of Cups coming into play here for you, you must tap into your personal power to get this done. Then we have the Knight of Wands clarifying the Knight of Cups. So this is, the Knight of Cups again is going after and, and attracting what, you desire attracting the things that bring you pleasure and then you have the knight of wands clarifying the knight of cups that means just go for it just go for what brings you pleasure don't entertain people's uh negative thoughts about why you're doing something okay gemini libra aquarius this is your life this is your journey so the the knight of wands is saying let's go it's action it's it's really fiery action. It's movement. It's just like, let's go for it now. We'll apologize later. That type of thing. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is, is determined and responsible, right? Hardworking. And with this Seven of Pentacles showing up for you, air signs, you are... Being sure as you're going through this process, you're taking the time to evaluate so that you don't miss a step, so to speak, to determine this change I've made. Is it worth it or do I need to tweak it and do something else to make it even better? That's what this Seven of Pentacles is saying on this Knight of Pentacles energy, right? Determination with the Knight of Pentacles, the responsibility, the steady energy. But be sure to check in. Check in with yourself on a, a monthly or a quarterly basis, okay? Then we have the Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back. I love this. Your spiritual team is always with you. They are guiding you. They are here to help you get free and to liberate you from anything that does not serve you, air signs, okay? Spirit always has your back. And with that, we have the Temperance. We have 
nine of wands, and then we have the page of wands. So spirit always has your back and then temperance is showing up. It's allowing you to know that you can change your stars. You can change your fate. You can turn the negative into a positive. You can make things harmonious in your life when you take time to rejuvenate, when you take time to learn more about yourself and become wise and unlock the wisdom of your soul and your highest self. You can be an alchemist in your own life. You absolutely have that opportunity at this time. You have the power to do so is what I'm feeling with this temperance card. And then we have the nine of wands. I say that power to do so because the nine of wands says you have grit. You have resilience. You can do this. Do not be moved. Do not be shaken. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, right? You have what it takes to be the alchemist of your life. And then with the page of wands also showing up for this, it's time to explore and get excited about the new life of freedom you are creating for yourself with these changes, these important and, and intentional changes you are making in your life. Two of Cups, the page of wands, and the sun card. Wow. Oh, yes. Yes, right? Just It's just yes. So the Two of Cups is clarifying your temperance card. You are the alchemist. So the Two of Cups is saying come into harmony. Come into agreement with self. Your highest self and self need to come into a partnership. Come into an agreement. And determine that you're going to make some changes. Agree upon the fact that you're going to make some changes. And spirit has your back throughout this entire process. Nothing will be missed. You lack nothing. It's always here for you. And then we have the page of wands clarifying the nine of wands. Because you stand your ground, you're just like, okay, there's nothing I can't do. You are just... You get new ideas of the life you want to design and create for yourself. You have an excitement about what it is that's coming towards you because you can feel it because you are more in tune with the wisdom of your soul and your highest self. And you, you're just super excited. And then the sun card to clarify the page of wands again right? Page of one. Oh, this is just beautiful. The sun card is the yes card. The sun card is success. So what I'm feeling for you, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you will be successful in this journey of releasing anything. People, places, or things that no longer serve you or mean you well. You will have abundance. You will have joy. Your life will just... It will level up. The, the vitality will be so noticeable on you. The energy that you gain, the focus and the clarity with this sun card, just clarifying the fact that you are excited. You should be excited because it is successful and it is for your benefit. This is beautiful. This, this time for the month of April, for this collective air sign tarot reading, all things point to success for you, but you must take heed. You must take the time to relax and rejuvenate. Learn what your soul already knows. Tap into your higher self to gain that inspiration and that insight and understand and believe that your spirit team always has your back. You are so capable, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Nothing is stopping you. Go for what you know. All signs point to yes.